Hi there everyone and let me show you one more chess game by Bobby Fischer. And in this chess game Bobby Fischer is playing with the white pieces and his opponent is Joseph Cooper. And Joseph Cooper was the Swiss champion for three times. And he was also a chess composer. So this game was played in Zurich in the Zurich tournament in 1959. So Bobby Fischer starts the game with playing e4 as always, c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, d6, bishop to c4, e6, bishop to b3, bishop to e7, and Fischer castled, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, also Cooper castled, king to h1, b6, f4, bishop to b7, f5, e5, queen to d3, h6, rook to f3, by Bobby Fischer. This is a rook lift move by Fischer. Rook to c8, rook to h3, and Cooper probably afraid in this position so that Fischer could sacrifice a piece and then attack the king relentlessly. So king to h7, more protection on h6, bishop to e3, queen to d7, knight to d5, bishop takes on d5, bishop takes bishop, knight takes on d5, e takes on d5. And in this position, Bobby Fischer is threatening to push the pawn, and that's check, also attacking the bishop. So bishop to f6, Avoiding the threat, it's white to move. And Fisher played an epic move. He played bishop takes on h6, sacrificing the bishop. And Cooper captures the bishop, but then queen to e3 by Fisher, threatening checkmate in two moves, capturing the pawn with the queen. And that's going to be checkmate in two moves. So bishop to g7 was played. If bishop to g5, of course queen takes bishop. The pawn is pinned. So the only defense, bishop to g7, defending the h-pawn. And what would you do in this position? How to win? How to break the defense of black? Well, Bobby Fischer played f6, attacking the bishop and sacrificing the f-pawn. Well, black can't move the bishop otherwise. As I told you before, black is getting checkmated in two moves. So we have rook to h8, another desperate move by black. If bishop takes on f6, then queen takes on h6. After queen to h7, that's checkmate. Rook to h8 by Joseph Cooper. And Fischer played rook to f1, interestingly, not capturing the bishop, queen to b5, queen to f3, rook to c4, Bobby Fischer played queen to f5, and the game ended here, Joseph Cooper resigned, the three times Swiss champion, and let me show you the possible continuation, king to g8 is the only move, and then capturing the bishop, and threatening checkmate, queen to f7, how to defend. So if rook to h7, queen takes, on f7, checkmate. King takes, on g7, queen takes, on f7, checkmate again. If queen to e8, then g takes, on h8, queen. King takes queen, rook takes, on h6, king to g7, queen to g5, king to f8, rook to h8. Checkmate. What a marvelous chess game by child Bobby Fischer. He was very young at that time, in 1959. That's why after queen to f5, Cooper had enough and he resigned. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.